now, the Wabash Valley's most watched newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist David Weyer, certified by the American Meteorological Society. Good afternoon, everybody. 14 minutes after the hour, and how about it? A beautiful Monday. We mentioned this morning where we did have a few spotty showers in northern Vigo County, northern Clay County, as well as a few isolated rain showers down to the south and to the east. Just a couple of them. The majority of any scattered rain stayed up along Interstate 74 early on, and now you've just got a few clouds that way. I know you folks up in Edgar County, Vermillion, and northern Park County, even southern Fountain County, want to know what's just north of you. I'll show you a widened view in just a second. In the meantime, look at that 84 degrees in Vincennes, and it's lunchtime, 83 in Robinson. And as I mentioned this morning, start all your outdoor projects today, but know that some rain to the north is trying to move to the south. It's these clouds right here. This is the scattered rain that we saw early on this morning. It's those clouds there that had the potential to give us some spotty showers early on, but then as Futurecast indicated, a quiet little time here, and that's exactly where we're at right now. So for you folks along Interstate 74, all is quiet right now. Some spotty rain showers are about, oh, 50 miles north of you trying to roll through, even north of Lafayette at this hour, north of Champaign, Illinois. So please keep that in mind. It's just to your north. You'll be the first ones to see any scattered rain. And again, where this movement is, that's the best threat for severe thunderstorms today. Already this morning from Chicago to Fort Wayne, out into portions of Dayton, Ohio, severe thunderstorms rolled through. Again, as we get into the evening, the threat for general thunderstorms extends about as far south as, say, Vincennes. So again, the severe weather threat looks to stay to the north. Nothing, no watches, no warnings out there right now. There's your future cast showing us the, the spotty rain that tried to move through early on this morning. In the meantime, there's, there's some clearing going on, but by about 4 o'clock, mid-80s, by the way, of course, it's going to be warm out there with wind out of the southwest. By about 4 o'clock, we're starting to see some more increased chances for rain showers, but it honestly looks like along the I-70 corridor and south, even later than, say, 6 p.m. this evening, that we're going to see the rain showers increase. But nonetheless, it's all going to sag to the south. We're all, later on this evening, going to see uh, about a 60% chance for scattered rain showers, trying to last through the overnight. But again, the computer models in your future cast quickly moving this out of here. Lower 60s, that's still uh, slightly above average for the overnight. And then back into some spotty showers again tomorrow. It's tough to make any real plans outside. Okay, I got something to do outside. Should I do it Tuesday or Wednesday? Both of them have equal chances for scattered showers. Both of them difficult to, as far as make plans, tough to stick with it. So again, keep that in mind. As we get into the next couple of days, we've got spotty rain in your forecast. Today, scattered rain coming later on. We've got several hours here, several hours here where it's going to be nice, but warm with temperatures in the mid to almost upper 80s. Some areas going to get close to 86 to maybe 87 degrees later on. 62 tonight, 40% chance for the spotty rain showers. 85 degrees tonight, again tomorrow that is. Partly cloudy skies, chance for rain showers tomorrow a little bit less than this afternoon at 40%. Nonetheless, it's tough to make some outdoor plans and I would uh, urge you to keep that in mind through Wednesday. Right now, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday look to be quiet with another shot of rain trying to move in next Sunday and Monday.